Hello adventurers, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and this channel is usually about home educating with a little bit of family life thrown in for good measure and one of the th options I gave you when I asked you to vote recently was what you wanted the Wednesday video to be and quite a few of you said you wanted more real life home educating footage which we're going to give you on a Monday and the other, the rest of you said you wanted to see planning and organisation content so that's what we're going to do. Now I'm not going to pretend that I am an expert organiser or an expert planner or a professional or anything like that in any way. I am just a woman, I'm just a mother, I'm just a wife who tries her very best to try and keep everyone bobbing along on this journey. So um, to do that, I, as I've named this series, is how to organise and plan your life when your children are always with you or how to organize and plan your home when your children never leave it uh those that's kind of the theme we're going for on these channels and on this on this video for this channel at the moment on the wednesday videos and i wanted to introduce you to something very special that i um have heard about before but then really got hooked um, by my friend and fellow YouTuber Nairi Squires who you can see on two different channels uh, one is Plan with Nairi and I'll just pop the link up there so you can see it and the other one is Adopt with Adoption with Nairi and um, that's how I found her was through an adoption channel and um, it can be sometimes a little bit uncomfortable for me to watch the adoption content at the moment uh, so just because we're still healing from our um, our sadness, our no from that. Uh, so when she started, when I realised she was doing plan with Nairi, I was like, ah, yay, that's exactly what I want. I want to still be able to watch Nairi's content, uh, but I don't want to have to put myself through uncomfortable watching and viewing and stuff. So, and that is the happy planner, as the title suggests. Now. I actually really, really liked this planner. Zebras are kind of important to me. Uh, wild horses you know um and uh but this was just the cheapest one that was an 18 month planner i wanted to be able to use it straight away and into next year and this was the cheapest one that was available that didn't have a christian undertone or anything like that and i really didn't want that because as you know uh, we follow the wheel of the year so i did not want there to be loads of bible verses in mine because that's just not me at all so I'm going to chat to you a little bit how I use my happy planner and what I use it for um, and then um, I'm going to talk about the other planners I use and then we will um, and, you'll, and I'll show you those on another day. So I'm going to tilt you down so you can have a look as we have a little flick through this classic size planner. So here it is and it's the Jungle Vibes classic happy planner and it says be aware that you are rare and I like that I like the zebras and yeah. So I've already added some stickers in here, we've got um, the wheel of the year sticker here and some bits that came with it. This is just to help me kind of remember, um, I suppose it's like having a bible verse in the middle of your, at the beginning of your planner if you're a Christian because it just kind of keeps me centred on my belief system I guess. And then um, all of the links to the stickers that are featured in here will be in the description so you can go and buy them yourself if you want to including this one this is kind of like a paper whereas this is more plasticky and i've got my name um i really felt like the color scheme went and, the, and like the font went with the planner so and there will be bits that i will not show you just because they've got like people's names and stuff in like for birthdays and things like that but it starts off with uh like a year overview excuse me a year overview and then you've got, I'm just going to like cover up some names there, like you've got um, like month by month and this is where I add my birthdays and stuff. So we've got like a whole week of birthdays here um, that are um, for family, uh, all in Phil's family, on Phil's side of the family actually. And then we've got Samhain at the bottom and Yule the next Christmas Day, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, blah blah blah. And then so on, like I've just used all of these for birthdays and then it moves on it starts at july as you can see here but i've not done that so um i've taken out the things i'm not using so september needs to go now um it goes into an envelope on my desk and then i have <laughs> anyway so phil was just coming up to ask me what i wanted for dinner and it's left overnight and i am having lasagna so um 
In here, we've also got the companion, the planner companion set, uh, which is the Jungle Vibe set. So I've got this cool wallet here, which came with the planner companion, pla planner companion, and this is where I keep quite a few of my stickers. Um, I will show you those in just a second, but I've got this envelope and it says you are strong and brave on it. And then we've got this little tiny envelope here again, just it's got loads of stickers in, uh, but you can type it in there. And that says always be brave and it's got a lovely rainbow zebra. So then we're moving on to Oct, oh no, this is not October. So this is the vision board page that also comes with the planner um, expansion, I suppose. So this is like dreams that you want to accomplish and goals and a focus word. And then this is for a vision board. So I have, um, pictures that I want to put in here that are like um, you know a lovely house we'd like to live in one day when we can buy our own house and um oh uh, yeah edibles we'd like to have things like that they're all going to be on there so then we're moving on to October and I love it. it's all got these little like quotes and stuff like, stay fierce stay wild and then I do 5-2 uh, fasting, so I, 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 you can see I've kind of put some autumnal stickers around the edge here. I'm not a big decorative planner, I'm a functional planner, so um, you'll have functional stickers, in, you'll see functional stickers in here all the time, um, but uh, most of the time you'll see occasional decorative stickers just like on the edge just to brighten it up. But, um, and I've got kind of world days here, so we've got World Teachers Day, World Mental Health Day, that sort of thing on here. Um, this is just to, like, yeah, I'll put birth, I usually put, would put birthdays in here as well, just to remind me, like, as I look at it each day, like, oh yeah, it's a birthday this week or whatever, um, but it does have my, um, diet kind of things on there. So then, as you can see, this is last week, um, so there's nothing in here that's, um, you know, relevant now that, but you've got, you see, you can see I've got functional stickers on the side here in the margin. I've got hydration, which I didn't actually fill out, naughty me. Um, and then I've got steps, my step thing, but I've not been wearing my step watch. That's not useful at all. Um, then walking Lily, making sure that um, I'm ticking that off because sometimes it gets to like eight o'clock and I'm like, oh my God, I've not walked her. Um, and then I've got my meal plan down here in the side. I will fill this out on a Sunday, ready for the next week. Um, and then I put what we need to have into the shop and then fill like kind of adds everything else that we need like regular stuff so you've got obviously just a few stickers we've got work work which that means working on videos for you guys study towards the course that i'm doing and a few other um a few other different bits so yes just and obviously then i'll put in like things i need to film and um you know other plans and so like that and this is just like a water them so i remember to water my plants so then we've got this week. Um, I haven't got a huge amount in here this week just because we haven't got a lot on. Um, I do need to fill in bits now because I've got more things that I've put onto my phone that I need to put in here. But I've got like a habit tracker to remind me to do my Kegels. Hydration, again, I'm really, actually, I think I might just stop bothering with those because I, um, I always forget to fill them in. And then you've got our meal planning sticker down the bottom here. We've got, let, today we were supposed to have sweet and sour chicken noodles, but, um, it's not arriving until for another hour with our shop, so <laughs> we're having leftovers again. Um, and then we've got all of our things on there. Spaghetti meatballs, fish cakes with creamy potatoes, roast pork, non-Chilean rice, which means non-spicy chilli con carne. And yeah, so I've got these lovely stickers. Um, again, all of these stickers, these are more like a plasticky feel and these are more like paper. Um, I will feature them all in the bottom um, in the description, so if you want to go and buy them, you can. Obviously you can use them for any planner, but... Um, you know, obviously they are they are designed for the happy planner. Um, so again, this I haven't started um, doing a decorative spread for this next week yet. I've got lots of things on next week that I need to fill in here. Uh, so I want to fill those in before I start putting those decorative stickers on, otherwise I might not have room. Uh, my uncle is visiting from America next week, so I've got and I've got lots of appointments. I've got a hair appointment on this day. I've got an eye test on this day, I've got a writing lesson with Phil on this day, so it's all filling up. Um, I think I've got something nearly on every single day, which is a bit stressful. So, yes. Um, however, I'm thinking I actually have an eye test on this day, and I may move it, see if I can move it to the Monday, when I'm not going to have the kids with me. Um, 
and um, and then I only have these two days that I have to find. Obviously, my parents are having them on this anniversary, on that anniversary, that's our 10th wedding anniversary, so I just need to find something on there. So, I've also put my videos up here, like what I'm gonna be um, doing with you guys. So then I have an expansion pack here. This is my homeschool section. Um, I'm trialing using this and the A plus homeschool planner, like which one I use most. So far, actually, I'm using this. Um, it's got a few different sections and stuff like that. Reading and projects and stuff like that. But it's got like a weekly section. So then I'm like, I've, on the days I've actually remembered to write things in, I'm writing in what they've done in here, but also what I've done for like my studying that I'm doing. Hello, Jazzy, my cat's here, so she might walk in front of the thing. So this is my fitness expansion. It says inhale courage, exhale doubt. Um, I'm not a big fitness nut, you know, you're gonna see me running. Um, I actually have a health issue, that means I can't go running as like a normal person. But um, I, as I said, I do the five two, and um, I'm, I do yoga and Pilates and things like that. And obviously I horse ride. So this has um, today, like anything that you're particularly planning, priority. And look, there's my pretty kitty, I don't know if you can see her. Um, food log and then exercise down the bottom here um, and it's got various bits in the side and I just I've added a few stickers just around the outside but again and like meal prep that's the other one to remind me to do that but it's not um as I said I'm a f do you mind no one wants to see your butt um I'm a functional planner not a decorative planner so you will see functional things um on here not uh, not not bits that aren't so. so yeah obviously I've not written any of these weeks yet because they are they do not exist um, and then oh there's a you mind sorry I'm just gonna pit on the floor go on off you go um so I've got like a progress tracker here as well at the end of that and then there's like a finances bit so it says um like debt trackers for you to track your credit cards and stuff like that how long it's going to take to sort out um, I don't need all of those in here, I'm just going to shove them in the back. Then financial goals, we are saving to buy a house. So um, there's things in here that I'm going to start looking at to where can we economise, where can we save to save as much money as possible. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then it's the same, moving on to November, it's pretty much the same. Um, the colour schemes are slightly different, but you know, the whole... Thing is basically the same and at the moment I've taken out everything up to uh, February I think now up to January so everything um, for January everything after January is taken out and then I've got these little things at the back which are again more sticker envelopes um, I keep I take it out and I've got it stored in an envelope over here that's from February onwards and I'll just add in like three months at a time so to just show you some of the stickers I've got, these are actually reading egg stickers, they're for Albert's um, reward chart that he does for his homeschool, it's like it came with reading eggs subscription, so I'll just leave that in there so I always know where they are. So I've got these, they're from Sticky Muck Sticker Face on Etsy, all of these stickers are available on Etsy and all of the links below are Etsy, and none of them are affiliates, they're just because I like them and have bought them, so these are actually for my homeschool planner, I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. And then I'll show you some of the other ones we've got sort in here. So, uh, these are Mac and Grey designs. I love Mac and Grey designs stickers. These are part of the Riverdale set, I believe. No, they're not. That's the other bag. So this is our, just a mini kit. And I did buy an oops bag, which means um, things that aren't quite, like she doesn't want to, couldn't sell them in her main shop. Um, so, like, put them as like a second hand thing, I suppose. So. Um, these are from the schmooze shop and I love schmooze this kind of this little schmooze cat features in all of them um, and they've got some really like random international days of and all that sort of stuff and we've got a few more things here so uh, these are again Mac and Grey designs this is the home sweet home kit I really really like it, it really kind of feels like hygge kind of thing so that comes that all comes with it that was from my oops bag again, random little bit What's this one from? It says H, so, so it's Serenity. There you go, Serenity. Tropical Dreams. This one came with the, ow! My cat just scratched me, go away. Um, that came with the Happy Planner Companion Kit. 
These are some of the autumnal ones I've ordered. These are very me, kind of like, uh, my friend Claire describes me as a pumpkin spice latte girl in this time of year, like I'm very autumnal, my nails are autumnal, my clothes are autumnal, and like, they feel like these stickers kind of um, encompass my, like, the vibes I have going. So, um, yeah, there we go, there's my, my pumpkin spice latte. And we've got a, uh, a bad witches. Bad witches theme, ready for Samhain, we've got a green witch as well. We've got my little weight scales because I'm um, trying to lose a little bit of weight so I can be lighter for my horse. Habit trackers, which I love. I love these neutral tones this time of year. And then these are some more from the Oops bags. So you've got sunflower, which is a bit summery. I'll probably keep those for the summer. That's it. Uh, like a boss, like a boss kit. And then this is, there we go, this is the Riverdale one. Um, my husband actually watches this show and was like, Riverdale? I was like, okay. Weirdo. Um, I had no idea what Riverdale was, and he was just like, "That's that show I watch. I like it." <laughs> so he's um, he's like, "Oh, cool stickers." I'm like, are they? Are they really? <laughs> yeah, he also liked High School Musical, so you know we can't account for taste. And then these are the more functional ones. I don't. I'm really be careful not to throw them out. So um, these were part of the Oops bag, and I had to cut them up, um, but they were great. It really doesn't take long to cut up stickers, so. Um, these are some of the little ones from Anaya's Rainbow. She like gave me, she sent um, some of these little ones. And she's the one who did the 5-2 five, five normal day fast day stickers. I've ordered them several times from her now. It's another little oops design. I feel like that's very accurate of me sometimes. And then we've got the functional stickers that I got from, um, from Mac and Gray Designs. So you've got study, work. Water the plants, plan with me, yoga, no sugar, manicure, and so on. And uh, yeah, so those are, I do have some others downstairs that are not in here that I just don't use very often. Um, I need to bring them up here into my office. Oh, and I got these as well. Here we go, these came with it, which I can use a couple of. So there you go, there's my lovely and incredibly full happy planner. That's um, just a beginning to show you um, how this is gonna go. We're gonna be using the happy planner. So if you wanna grab a happy planner too, I have listed some places in the UK where you can get one yourself. Um, I've even listed this exact one from a UK stockist. I've also listed the Happy Planner website. It did take me about three weeks to get this from the US. I didn't have to pay any charges or anything like that, but it did take a really long time and it did have to go through customs and all of that sort of thing. Um, I can't blame Briggs for that one, can we? Because it's America. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've included all the links where you can get these um, and where you can get your own Happy Planners. There's loads of different types. If you are a Christian, there's loads that have Bible verses in. So like where um, I've got for example um like that you know like these kind of section and section off it's where i've got this leopard print and it says stay wild um it might have like a nice picture and like a bible word bible verse bible verse so if you're a christian there's plenty of options for you and if you're not or you don't want that on your planner then there's plenty of other options um like animals which made me happy Anyway, it's pretty heavy i need i can carry this around in my normal bag um you can get like a skinny planner to take with you but i didn't want to have two um anything that i need to have with me i just put on my phone calendar which is shared with my husband so um we can both see it and yeah and all this stuff there that like if it doesn't concern him like for example my eye appointment next week it doesn't concern him he doesn't need to know i'm having an eye test like well he does know i'm having an eye test but you know what i mean he doesn't need to have that on his calendar and know that it's happening because he's not going to be there so um however saying that i actually might try and rebook it for this week because then I don't have to worry about childcare. Hmm. Um, anyway, besides the point. So yeah, this is my happy planner. This is what I'm using at the moment and I'm trying to have a catch all planner so I have everything in the same place. Um, we're gonna go through my other planners that I have. One is a moon diary. So in that I will record uh, my dreams. So I have a dream that I wanna pay attention to um, in the night. Um, I will record that in there. I also, um, record my cycles in there like how I was feeling on that particular day 
of my cycle so next week like the next month if I'm having a really bad time I can I can go oh what was it like last month on this day oh yeah I felt like this then too like so I can see that there's a pattern and thus then predict my behavior on certain days um I will also then put um goal intentions and um any kind of spiritual work I want to put like I use that for that as well and I will show you that if you're interested um there's there's gonna be nothing that freaks um anyone out who's um not uh following the wheel of the year or pagan or anything like that so it's just um uh yeah I'll just flick through that and show you that and then the other planner that I use obviously I've been trialing the A plus homeschool planner I really like it but I like I have everything in here um it just makes it a lot easier uh so I'm still like up and down about which one I'm going to use um and what was the other thing there was another one i'm gonna start a nature journal which is kind of a similar thing it's all about self-care for me like all of this is for self-care um organization within the home organization within my life because if i feel organized then the house ends up getting organized and everything just runs a lot more smoothly um and i think the biggest thing is that i've struggled with because of my own particular um struggles like personally as well as within um home educating and having the kids around all the time is that like I need some kind of order so I get enough time to relax and if I don't have order then I can't relax and um, I'm a natural lover of chaos like or a natural creator of chaos actually I'm not a lover of chaos I naturally create it wherever I go um as my husband says I'm like a whirlwind a little hurricane tornado whatever like bustling through the house and um he's like you know some somehow, somehow tries to like has to try and just calm my tornado down so um the idea of having the planners for me is to try and like whilst I'm rushing around in that tornado like I'm clutching tightly to this and remembering all the things that need to get done and recording stuff as well so um these things are gone. maybe one day my kids would like to read it I don't know but yeah anyway so thank you for joining for this little kind of babbly uh, first Wednesday video where I'm introducing the happy planner uh, next week we will talk a little bit more um, about the specificities specifics let's just use that um, of how I plan and all the other things I get up to so thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Friday